Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have me, the Rhino, and we're drinking a beer. This beer is one of the newest beers. Well, the newest beer out from Black Creek Pioneer, well, Black Creek Historic Brewing Company, in the heart of the Black Creek Pioneer Village. Now, this beer is an LCBO release, so it will not have been brewed at the uh, One Barrel Black Creek Pioneer Village Brewery. Uh, which is an amazing brewery. If you watch my beer documentary, we went for a whole brew day. We filmed uh, Ed the whole brew day. It was an awesome time. We got to learn a lot of stuff about uh, the 1800s brewing society, the culture, everything else. Um, this beer, though, would have been brewed at Trafalgar in Oakville. This is the Black Creek Irish Potato Stout. It's a potato. A patata. Um, anyway. Yeah. Potato. An early Irish original experience, Ontario's rich brewing heritage, Black Creek Pioneer Village, is located in the heart of the Black Creek, sorry, Black Creek Pi Historic Brewery is located in the heart of Black Creek Pioneer Village in Toronto, Ontario. Here we have recreated a working historic brewery where our brewmaster handcrafts the same ales enjoyed in Ontario's country villages in the 1800s. Come visit us. Black Creek Brewing, the brewery .ca. amazing place to visit. Amazing things they do there. They do like a lemon balm ale. They do all all the beers they do there are cask conditioned because that's what would have been back there. They all have faults, which would be normal for back there, and they're all made with ingredients that would have been used back then. Um, like all real old ales, this ale is lightly carbonated and is best served at cellar temperature. Uh, so I had this sitting on the floor for a while down here on the uninsulated floor so it is at cellar temperature. Ingredients, water, barley, potatoes, hops, and yeast. So this one actually has potatoes as an ingredient so unlike the Dakota Pearl Ale from Ramblin Road uh, Farm Brewery, this one has potatoes in the ingredients where Ramblin Road's uh, Dakota Pearl Potato Ale is a uh, potato washed basically they uh, make they make their cream ale and they wash the potatoes with their cream ale and that's how they get their potato flavor this one uses potatoes in the brewing process 5% alcohol by volume an Irish potato stout my family's right from Ireland so I'm a little biased already no I'm not I'm, but I'm hoping that this is good because if it's bad I'm gonna be sad I'm gonna be very sad because I ate so much meat and potatoes growing up that this better be good this better be good because of the damn meat and potatoes oh yeah now I actually do enjoy their regular stout so if this is the regular stout with just potatoes added even though I'll be slightly disappointed, I'll, I'll like it anyway. That, that is a br great stout. Look at that look. Oh, listen to that sound. Listen to that sound. Look at that look. Oh yeah, guys. This is a stout. This is exactly what you want. It's a nice brown head. It's not that off-white head that a lot of them give. It's a nice mocha head. Beautiful, beautiful bubbles in there. They're popping. It's, a, it's thick and bubbly at the same time. Black stout, black stout, looks great, smell. Mm. Okay, out of the bottle, you're getting that beautiful caramelly scent that is reminiscent of a lot of stouts. You're getting that beautiful roasty malt scent that's reminiscent of a lot of stouts. And you're getting a slight weird sweetness. Uh, kind of reminds me of a of a souring milk stout a little bit a little bit like a souring milk stout not that this is a sour smell it's just it, it reminds me of a milk stout kind of going off uh, could the starch be adding that smell I don't know I've never brewed with potatoes I never have brewed with potatoes I don't know what it's really gonna add to the beer so I'm really interested in this beer but that smell is kind of weird out of the glass Uh, the glass is more like dirt, so you're getting more of that potato smell out of the glass. Uh, I know they've washed the potatoes and everything else, and they've chopped them up and everything to use them, but it just smells kind of like, uh, like all the smells out of the bottle, plus dirt. So, the glass, not as good smelling as the bottle. Again, uh, I'm finding that a lot lately, even with uh, glassware that helps to 
bring the scent to your nose. I'm finding a lot of these beers smell better out of the bottle than out of the glass. Problem? Not really. Just saying. Just saying, Zal. Let's try this. Cheers, guys. Okay, like it said, lightly carbonated. Um, medium to heavy mouthfeel. Um, so, on the medium side, but on the upper echelon of the medium side. A lot of roast. A lot of roast. A nice malty sweetness at the forefront. A lot of roast, not not dark roast, but a lot of roast. It's roasty, but it's not roasty to the bitter side or to the burnt side, which you get a lot of the time. But there is a lot of roast. There is a beautiful, beautiful malty sweetness. And that roast goes on to the end. And the end just kind of finishes with the roast and a little bit of a dirty flavor. Uh, you're not really getting any hops on it. Dirty flavor kind of reminds me of like a Burger King or an a and French fry. Uh, you know how they're they're actually thicker potatoes, so you get an actual potato taste instead of the McDonald's fries that are just really thin, so all you're really getting is the shortening taste. Actually does have a potato taste. Or if you make homemade, um, home, well, homemade home fries. If you make home fries for breakfast and stuff, and you do the chopping them up and frying them in a, in a skillet with some butter and all, it, it has that type of flavor to it you can taste a little bit of a potato flavor. It's not, oh my god, there's a potato flavor, but there is a little bit of it there. Uh, I don't know if he used the regular stout recipe or not. If he did, my, ch my palate has evolved a lot, if he did, because I'm not getting caramel or chocolate on this like I used to with their, with their regular stout. I'm just getting roast dirt and, uh, and the sweet malt. Bad? No, not bad at all. I actually, you know what, I bought three bottles of this. I believe these were $4, 4 or $5 a bottle. Uh, so $3.95 or $4.95, I don't remember. I bought 22 bottles of beer today, and it cost me um, $66. Bucks. Uh, it was all different craft brews. There was a lot of Belgian beers in there. Some of them were $5, some of them were $2, some of them were $3. So um, there was a lot of different beers in there. And... This I bought three bottles of, one for the festival for when the other beer reviewers come down, one for me to drink right now, and one for me to drink some other time, who knows when. But uh, I'm not disappointed in that. Would I have bought another bottle? Yeah, after drinking this I would have went out and bought another bottle. It's an interesting thing to drink. Can you really tell there's potatoes in there? I don't know. I'm, I might be psychosomatically tasting potato. If you gave me this and just said it's a stout, Yeah, I could see that. It's, it's a stout. If you gave me this and said it's a potato stout, don't know if I would know or not. For well, And then you asked me if there was potatoes in it, I would probably say no. In all honesty, I'm probably psychosomatically tasting potatoes. But unlike the DPA, I can tell you this because I still had a bottle of DPA and I drank it earlier today. Unlike the DPA, this actually does have more of a potato taste than the DPA, but again, the DPA wasn't brewed with potatoes, they washed the potatoes in the beer and then used that as their Dakota Pearl Ale. Um, and the taste, again, a slight taste of potato in the background, but it's more of the, it's more of that starchy dirtiness. Uh, Yeah. I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a 7, because that's what it deserves. I would buy more of them. The price is right. Even if it wasn't an Irish potato stout, I would still buy this. Um, a good introductory stout. It's not a stout that, oh my god, if you love stouts, you should get. But if you have somebody that's like, I don't drink stouts, because stouts are really irony and weird and really super thick, good stout to buy them. If, they, if what they think is a stout is just Guinness... Good stout to buy them. Good old ale, too. Uh, again, they used potatoes because potatoes were plentiful. Potatoes were cheap. 
And potatoes were everywhere. Um, they're, they're, they are everywhere. Uh, they aren't... They are the cheapest product for a consumer to buy. In the long run, they aren't the cheapest product for a brewery to buy or a distillery to buy because corn is easier to process than potatoes. So the processing takes a little bit more, but they are super cheap, super plentiful, and that's why people use them to make vodka and to make beer and to make everything else because they were everywhere. And it's cool to drink a piece of history. It doesn't taste bad. It's not the greatest, but it doesn't taste bad. It's a 7 out of 10. It's 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 there. It's a passable beer. Try it if you see it. Um, there's no reason not to. And if you don't want to try it, again, you're not really missing anything. So don't feel bad. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye.